Okay, I want to give you a little demo of how to make a function, um, the simplest function possible in C++. So the idea behind functions is that it lets me break up my code and make these reusable pieces. And then my main starts to read just like a list of instructions of what should happen. Um, the very simplest form of function is just a little piece of code that we want to have be able to be called over and over. Um, what I'm going to show you right now will have return type, that's this first word, void, which means that when it's finished, no information is going to be sent back to main. We'll see some variations of that later. And then I choose a name for my function. The naming rules are the same as for uh, your variable identifiers. So let me just say this, uh, call, call this guy greeting, okay? And I can put any code in here that I can put in main. So let me say C out. Hello there. All right. Now I've got this function. Right now, if I try and run this guy, you're going to see that nothing's going to happen except my console's going to open blank and nothing's going to print. So, I'll let this catch up with me. Okay, so nothing happened. So to get my function to ha to actually uh, run and and run the code that's inside of it, I have to do what's called calling it. And to call a function, all I need to know is its name. And I have to make it look like a function. And to do that, as I've written here, you put some empty parentheses after it. Okay? And all that means is when you reach this, fly up here, do whatever's inside of it, then come back down and take over where you left off. So if I run this guy, we should see... It says hello there. Now I can call this as many times as if I as I want. So I can call greeting again, again, however many times I want inside the program, and it will basically do the same thing every time. Okay, so it says hello, hello there, hello there, hello there. If I make a variable in here, let's call this uh, name. Let's say what's your name? And let's grab it in, and I can add on some personalization to this thing. Let me add in the string library. All right. And what I can do is when I run this, it's going to run through all those lines of code every time now. So it's going to ask me what my name is every time. So if I say Bethany says hello there Bethany what's your name and I've done a bad job of formatting this so let's just say um, it says and it's gonna add, say and then if I say putter it's gonna say putter and it'll basically do all these lines every time I just write this one word and so you can already see I've saved one two three four I've got four lines of code happening with one little line here and I can do that as many times as I want now the one thing you should be aware of is that if I declare a variable inside a function it has what's called local scope, which means I can refer to this variable up here where it's declared in between the curlies that make up the body of this function. But if I try to talk about it down in main, let's just say I try to see it out, it's going to cause an error. And you can see it's it's underlined in red because it says my f name is undefined. That's because f name literally belongs only inside greeting. It only exists here. That's the local scope that it has. It does not exist in main. Um, right now, what I've just shown you, does not allow any sort of information sharing between the two functions. Main is a function and greeting is a function. And we'll learn later how you do share information between those two. But for right now, that's all we've got it doing.